you and your party find yourself in an abandoned graveyard. Then, out of the shadows pops this evil creature of the night, the ghoul. <sighs> A ghoul is a summoned humanoid creature that eats flesh and is oftentimes darkly humored. Ghouls are not to be confused with zombies. Unlike the zombie, a ghoul is a sentient creature that is not necessarily made, but rather summoned. Ghouls are originally an Arabic legend. They are referenced well before the 7th century in the Middle East. Their origins are unknown to be true or false, however, Many Middle Eastern people believe that ghouls are a form of jinn that are the offspring of Iblis, the prince of darkness in Islam. There are, however, two versions of ghouls due to a mistranslation of Arabian Nights. In the Eastern version, these creatures are described as desert dwellers. They were tricksters that would use cunning to lure in travelers to eat. They subsisted off of human flesh and could take the form of whomever they have eaten. They would often take the form of beautiful women to lure in lustful men to eat. They also are commonly referenced as taking the form of hyenas. These ghouls were often easy to blend in with regular human society. After Antoine Galland, a Frenchman, translated Arabian Nights into French in the 18th century, the Western version of the ghoul was born. This version is the one that is arguably the more popular version in entertainment. They are scary creatures that dwell in graveyards and feast on the dead. In the Western version, they are described as having long arms and sinewy legs, gaunt faces, bulging eyes, powerful jaws full of bone-crushing teeth, robust hands adorned with razor-sharp claws, and pale, rubbery skin. They often will run on all fours for enhanced speed. Some of the other abilities this version of the ghoul have acquired are as follows. Superhuman strength, agility, and endurance. These creatures do not age. They do not feel pain. They do not need to breathe. They are immune to poison, drugs, gases, and weapons. When a ghoul is shot at or cut with a knife or sword, they heal themselves quickly and are left with no damage. Sunlight does affect the ghoul, Although it will not kill them, they avoid it at great cost. There are two ways that one can kill a ghoul. First is the main way to kill nearly any creature, decapitation. Take the head off and the creature will die. The second way to kill a ghoul is to expose it to very hot flames. Once the creature is turned to ashes, it is dead and cannot recover its body. While the history of ghouls are questionable as myth or legend, superstitious people in areas where the creature peaks in popularity still fear the beast. In Papua New Guinea, October 3rd, 2014, two teenage boys saw a man lead his three-year-old daughter into a wooded area, bite her neck, and begin eating her flesh. As the man noticed the boys, he laughed and continued eating his child. The previous year, still in Papua New Guinea, Officials arrested 29 people for killing and cannibalizing seven people accused of sorcery. They had hoped to gain their power by eating them. In 2011, two Pakistani men were arrested for digging up the remains of a 24-year-old woman and eating her flesh in a curry. In these areas, these people were tried and convicted as ghouls. In the Arabian Nights, in the Middle East where this specific work was originally created, the book was called One Thousand and One Nights. It is a collected work of folklore published in 1704 in the original Arabic. This anthology includes stories about ghouls. H.P. Lovecraft, The Dream Quest of Unknown Kata. This book was completed in 1927, but was completely unedited and unrevised. It was published in 1943, after Lovecraft's death. Ghouls are mentioned in a section of this book, but even though they are cunning and vile, they do assist the protagonist on his quest. 
Tokyo Ghoul. In this anime slash manga, ghouls are the main focus, as the title suggests. They mix the eastern and western versions of what ghouls look like, behave like, and how they fit into society. They do still eat human flesh, and though they prefer fresh, they do settle for corpses as well. They have transformation power, but not as if they were shapeshifters, but rather an extra appendage they can utilize. They can blend with human society rather well, but they are hunted for their ghoulish heritage. There are so many creatures and monsters that can be used in the entertainment world, but we seem to be caught up in the infamous ones such as vampires, zombies, witches, and werewolves. The ghoul is such an underrated monster in its popularity. These creatures are very interesting, not only in their history, but in their ability to be utilized in stories. They are demon-born, so they are naturally a villainous creature. With their creepy and sinister description, there is plenty of potential to add descriptive fear in your creation. Also, they are so versatile, because in their natural skin they are absolutely terrifying, but they also can eat a person and become that person, acquiring their appearance, memories, and skills. To me, this makes them much more interesting than their often referred to counterpart, the zombie. Because these creatures still have a working brain, they can be crafty, sneaky, and more fun to create. If you are looking to utilize ghouls in your games, writings, movies, or any other works that you are creating, think about the origin first. Do you want your ghoul to be more like the Middle Eastern version, creating it as a shapeshifter that lures people to their doom? feasting only on fresh flesh. This creates more of an impending doom, a sneaky, suspenseful creature that you don't really see coming until it's too late. Or do you want to use the Western version of a cemetery-dwelling corpse eater? These unnerving creatures that devour the dead are not afraid to tease the living. They have deeply dark humor and will abuse the corpse or play with their food to cause emotional distress from the living. They find joy in what they do. If you were to implement them into, say, a D&D campaign, then it may benefit you to have one wandering the crypt or in the dark woods, luring the common traveler for a quick feast. They aren't heavily armored, but a ghoul makes up for it by attacking in large packs. They aren't highly intelligent, but they aren't stupid either, since they are capable of paralyzing their targets. They do have a motive, and that is to put your adventurers on the menu. So there you have it, a monster that is often overlooked, but ripe for the picking of many more film, literature, and video game interpretations. What other monster would you like to see us cover? Find out more at the Creature Collection.